second generation, so I grew up going to the beach with my dad a lot. And I actually remember this one specifically where a mom and a, a child got swept out. One guy grabbed the mom, but when the other guy grabbed the child, he's holding a 20 pound child, no fins, no tube, and he's holding it above her, his head in eight foot shore break. That just blew my mind. You know, these guys were like the coolest guys to me. And it was just my calling to just be in the water and what better way to do it than to actually work on the beach. Following my dad's footsteps means a lot to me. I didn't realize how much I looked up to my dad until I became a lifeguard and I wanted to be the kind of worker that he was, it's the type of lifeguard that he was, the type of waterman that he was. The moment we open the towers, we're, we're looking at the water, we're assessing the conditions, where the water's moving, where the current's going, where the waves are. Aside from being vigilant and constantly observing what's going on, we're also educating and preventing people that come to the beach. So what we'll do is we'll go down and we'll talk to them and just give them the lowdown, like, hey, this isn't an appropriate beach for your children because we have very dangerous shore break, we have very strong currents, and this isn't a place where you want your kids to be. There's a much more appropriate beach 10 minutes down the road. We get one hour training breaks every single day. You need to have the endurance to be able to do a 45 minute rescue, but you also need to have the strength to pull a 200 pound man up the beach who's unconscious. We're staring at the water for eight hours. You know, your eyes can physically get tired and strained if you don't have the proper equipment. And you want that ability to see everything. And saying to somebody, sorry, I didn't see, I didn't see you because the glare was really bad. It's a pretty bad excuse to not do your job. So we want to minimize any potential things that can get in the way of us doing our jobs. And when it comes to things like glare and the sun, having a good pair of glasses is really important. When the waves are pumping and, it, it's, and you feel the power of the ocean, the fact that you're a part of it and how much energy is, is moving on around you, it's, it's really hard to describe, honestly. Like, it, you're, it's just this weird connection that you're just kind of one with the water. It's gonna sound corny, but the ocean is healing. Any, any problems that I have, any issues that I'm going with, going through at home, with whatever's going on in life, the moment I jump into the water, it washes it all the way. We're really, really close, and I think you have to be, because when things aren't going the way you planned it out to be, you have to count on that person that's sitting next to you in the tower to have your back. On our days off, you'll be surprised that a lot of us are still back in the water. We, we can't, I think we're all just addicted to the ocean, whether it's guys who go fishing, you know, if there's a swell, we're gonna go surf. We belong in the water, because there's always something to learn. It doesn't matter if you've been in for 30 years, 40 years, there's always new things that you're learning.